Good morning from Governor Dodge State Park. I am currently in the Twin Valley Campground and I am going to take the Meadow Valley Trail today. It is about five miles, but I'm going to add a little extra loop onto that with the Caves Trail, I think it's called. Yeah, the Caves Trail, because that'll also get me out into the Twin Valley Lake area to see that and also a cave. Um, yes, there are woodpeckers here chatting away at me. Um, so I'm going to take this trail. It's going to take me a good couple hours. It's uh, over six uh, six miles to do. Uh, it says it's an easy trail on all trails, but it also says I've got a 500, uh, almost 600 foot elevation gain to go through. And for the Midwest, that's a lot. <clears throat> I'm in an unglaciated area, part of Wisconsin. So there is terrain out here and it can be fairly steep. So we're going to get out there and see what we find. Let's go. All right. Just hiked down from the campground. And I am officially at the Meadow Valley Trail. It's maybe a five minute walk down. All right. Started in Twin Valley Campground. My site was pretty much where that, uh, where that tent is. Worked my way down the road, took the trail down. And now I've met up with the trail, of course, where the bolt is. I'm going to follow this around today. Hopefully take this side trail, continue around, and basically make a big loop around the Twin Valley Campground. As you can see, it's just a loop around. There's no, there's only these little offshoots that bring you down to the trail. Nothing that brings you out because this whole thing is way up on a ridge. And now I got to walk this valley down which means I have to come back up at some point too I just hit a point in the trail where I come to a trailhead parking area for day use area and also to walk down there is a side road that comes down for handicap parking right on the trail so you don't have to use stairs and this is also the point on the trail where the amphitheater is now if a distant memory serves me correctly and this looks like it's about right many many years ago i was out here with my wife's in-laws my my wife's family uh, her cousins and things. I think her cousin got married there and we hung out at the group campground. They were a couple that are very much into the outdoors and they chose this as their wedding venue. So if that's something you want to do, you can look into doing that here, I believe. It's also the point where the sign said I was 0.2 miles to the beach area. So we're starting our descent down to the beach and its parking area. So if the beach parking area is completely full, you can come up just a little bit and make this hike down. Which means at the end of the day, after the beach, you got to make the hike up or at least one person does and get the car. All right, trail came down the hill. Come down to the parking lot. The beach is right over there on the other side. But the trail, after it comes down, it's out over this way. Now, a little bit about the layout of the park. There are two lake sections upstream of here there's a dam for a lake up there and then there's a lake in the valley down here and that kind of tells me i made it to pretty much the bottom of the trail because i'm at the lower water level right now
there is a bit of up and down to this trail. I thought it was a low point, went to a high point where I thought it was going to be along the water, but it was way up. Now working my way back down. Okay, I made it up to a split in the trail. Um, this is still the um, Meadow Valley Trail here. I just came up over a ridge. This is also a horse trail. Just so you know, you'll be share you can be sharing the paths and the trails with horses and bikes. But now I got a little side trail here, and we got cave tra the cave trail over here. Now the cave itself is closed um, to protect the bats from white nose syndrome. But I have a feeling this is where I can get up and on a ridge. So I'm going to go see what kind of a view I can find up there. Well, the cave trail so far hasn't panned out like I'd hoped. I thought I'd be going up. There's a big bluff with outcroppings behind me. That's not what I'm enjoying here. I am, this path along here is along the water. And this is the first bench I've seen to take a break on. It's a good spot though. Okay, just came up the hill from the lake, come to the sign, going up a side trail. The trail, the main trail continues on, but I'm going to check out the side trail to the cave, even though I know the cave itself is closed for white nose syndrome. Well, trail closed or not, this is done. Kind of what I wanted was to get up top on the bluffs here. Well, that's unexpected. I started filming to show you the cave and the duck landed over my head. I think this is the cave. Uh, that's as far as in as I'm going. Gotta keep the bats safe. Apparently, that's not the cave. It's over here. There's more signage. Here's the sign giving you information about white nose syndrome and how to prevent it and what we can do. Mainly, it's us explorers, people traveling who go from place to place to place. Make sure your clothes and your shoes have been decontaminated. We all wash our clothes. Our shoes are usually what will spread things, especially if you have shoes with grippy soles because they hold on to all sorts of things. Now this cave itself is pretty much barred off. Can't get in. We can only get so far here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a metal gate that allows the bats to get in and out, but doesn't let us in. And that's good to protect the bat species around the country. So I'm way up, one of the higher points in the park here. 
There's a scan over here. If you can see it straight out there. There's a farm way up on a bluff that's got a phenomenal view too. They didn't build the farmhouse to get the view though. Looks like there might be an animal shed that overlooks, but. Okay, just came off the cave trail, connecting back to the Meadow Valley Trail, but it also connects off to, forget what this one was, um, that is just a horse trail. So this one, horses only, we're heading off this one where no horses are allowed. Now to give you a sense of how big this park is, there, I think there is a 15 mile horse trail loop on this, in this park. One big loop around the whole outside. That's a fairly large park. If it's 15 miles to kind of make, and that's in, sort of not even riding the edges because of bluffs and things. So if you want to bring your horses out here, you've got some great trail rides awaiting you as well as several campgrounds. So I'm following part of the trail that kind of rides a ridge over here and it goes up around. But then from across the way, mainly because I'm here off season and the trees are clear, I saw this. So let's go uh, take a look. It's not actually on a trail, but we have more signage up here, probably to another cave, and another sign about white nose syndrome. Bats, yep. So there's another cave over here that again is blocked off like the last one. So we can't get in there. I can feel the cool wind coming through it right now, blowing out. Let's go back. Check out. I'm kind of surprised that they don't want us in there. Just make the steps go away and no one will know is there. They would stop over here and just explore this. It's interesting how the boulders are just falling in and are still here and haven't, with no weathering under here, haven't eroded away much. Kind of cool. Back to the trail. This is the point where I decided to take a little shortcut on the trail. Uh, I could have continued all the way down near the Cox Hollow uh, campground, which, but I've already done that in the past. And there was construction going on along the trail further down from this trailhead along the road. So I just headed back to the campground at this point. Well, that was a long hike. Um, I needed rest after that. My knee was a bit sore and I needed to put some food in my belly. So after resting a while, I decided to come back out and head down to Stevens Falls. I've been here several times before, but this is the first time I've seen water flowing. So thanks for coming along on this journey. Get on out there and now enjoy quiet water meditation along the creek in the falls.